most of you probably, you know, use the internet and you just pick a random username and then you end up getting famous and then they're permanently referred to as that fucking username. <laughs> you know, man, I even remember when I went to uh, the European Parliament because we were talking about Article 13, you know, some serious free speech business and I thought, yes, I'm going to finally get to talk to these MEPs about how stupid they are and how censorious Article 13 is and then you kept introduced me on stage as Count Dankula. <laughs> And you just immediately see all the reporters in the room going, fucking what? <laughs> oh, man, so yeah, it's, it's extremely difficult to be taken seriously, but yes, I, I am the guy who got arrested for teaching my girlfriend's pug to Nazi salute as a joke. I'm glad my life being ruined is funny. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately I got fined uh, 800 pounds out of it. Um, I was charged with causing gross offence to Scotland's Jews, uh, all seven of them. <laughs> and I thought it really weird that Jews wanted to like throw me in prison for practicing my right to free speech because I thought Jews would have liked free speech because it's free. <laughs> No, I haven't learned my lesson. <laughs> and, and instead, I've chosen to become a career criminal. Actually. <laughs> But in, in, in the years, you know, since my arrest, I'm very, very thankful that I didn't actually, you know, go to prison. I wouldn't have done well in there, you know, a pretty little thing like me. <laughs> but in the years since, I've developed a lot of libertarian ideals. I feel that, you know, I want a system where people can say whatever opinions they have and make whatever jokes they want to make, no matter how offensive, and the government can't just come in and arrest them. I want a, I want a system where the government's power is drastically reduced and the Guardian and Labour voters have kindly informed me that this system is called fascism. <laughs> so I am what you would call a libertarian fascist. You know, it's, it's kind of the same thing as a meat-eating vegan. Or a KKK member with a black wife. It seems a little bit counterproductive, but I'm trying my best to make libertarian fascism work, but the juxtaposition is making it a little bit difficult. You know, do whatever the hell you want, or else. <laughs> but most of the arguments that people try and make against us is like me and other comedians like me, everyone tries to say that we are, you know, secretly trying to convert people to fascism with our jokes, you know, much in the same way as you've heard that old expression, you know, if you want to sleep with a woman, you better be able to make her laugh. You know, you can laugh a woman into bed, apparently you can laugh people into fascism. <laughs> as well, you know, but it's like... Uh, but it's, that's one thing that I've never ever really been able to understand is just because you hear a fascist speak, you know, it doesn't mean you immediately believe them. And especially like, we can be like, we're not, we're not actually trying to make everyone into fascists. I mean, people said that my Nazi pug was me trying to turn people into fascists. I can, I can assure you I could have created something much better. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, you, you all obviously had to have that awkward conversation with your friend who's had to come up to you and say, you know, that comedian last night was so funny that I completely forgot why we shouldn't just exterminate minorities. <laughs> You're making this baby shiver really awkward, Stacey. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's, that's even like actual literal fascists uh, getting provided with a platform, like, let them, I don't care. Like, I'm not worried about that. I mean, picture we were having an actual election with an actual genuine, unironic fascist candidate and they went up on TV and said, if elected, I am going to get rid of all minorities all homosexuals, all of the physically disabled, but not the mentally disabled, they are our target demographic. <laughs> and, and I am going to pass so many laws that give me absolute control over every single teensy little part of your life, and if you break any of these laws, I'll probably kill you. Vote for me, 2020. <laughs> Who the fuck is sitting at home going like that will sign me the fuck up? <laughs> Man, long have I hated my existence and yearned for the sweet embrace of death, right? That's, that's why I am not worried, because most people aren't that stupid. Most. <laughs> but I'm a very strong believer in that sunlight is the best 
disinfecting. I feel that horrible ideas should be out there in public for us to see, to laugh at, to mock and to ridicule. I mean, do I need to remind any of you of when the, at the time, leader of the BNP, Nick Griffin, appeared on BBC Question Time? <laughs> I mean, if you haven't seen the video, I highly advise you go watch it. You can actually find it on Pornhub because that's... <laughs> because that's where you go when you want to watch a video with someone getting fucked. <laughs> but it's just one, of the, just one of the things that it just still bothers me that people keep making this argument that just because someone hears a fascist speak, that person's immediately going to believe everything that person says and not ask any further questions. As if, you know, one little exposure, that's you, it's too late, you're going to become a fascist. Opinions aren't like zombie bites. You get a little exposure, a little bite, oh, that's it, it's too late, you're going to become a fascist now. How funny would it be if opinions were like zombie bites? We had a fascist zombie virus just plaguing throughout the UK. You know, you know how in zombie movies you always get that one dickhead that, like, hides their bite from everybody else? <laughs> puts the whole group in danger, they're all barricading themselves inside a supermarket and someone notices that something's wrong with Kevin. <laughs> Buddy man, you don't look so good, what's wrong? I don't know man, I don't know, I just... just six million just seems like a really big number. <laughs> Poor Kevin, if only he hadn't joined the Labour Party. <laughs> One thing I do want to say before I go, see when I realised that a Jew was running against Jeremy Corbyn, I get a bit of a semi. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I hope you fucking win. 